Hey guys, Jalen's here, doing another video for you guys today. Today I'll be unboxing and reviewing the new Asus or Asus Zenfone 2. That's phone with an F. Now let's get started with the unboxing. Uh, one of the things that I noticed when I opened up this package, this is pre-opened, that's why I labeled this uh, fake. But um, when I first picked this up at the store, and mind you, it, I want to mention that it was very hard to get. They are flying off the shelves like crazy. Um, when I got it at the store, when, I, when the, when the uh, customer service guy uh, handed it to me, you can hear that, oh, it isn't now, but it was shaking in the box. Mind you, now I took it out, and maybe I put some paper in between there, or just how it worked, but it was... It was, it was shaking inside the box, which doesn't really show very much confidence in how the packing was and who knows what happened to the phone while being in there during shipping. Um, as you can see here, the box is very simple. Very well laid out. I need to get the lighting a little bit better here. Like that. Um, now if you look at this, I don't know what these are supposed to symbolize, but well, I can tell some, but I don't understand the battery power thing. Is it supposed to mean it has lots of battery power? I don't know. It's 4G, 4G LTE, Wi-Fi, that should be a standard. I don't know what FHD means. Uh, Bluetooth 4.0, and my phone will focus. A camera. Big surprise on a smartphone. So this is the Asus Zenfone 2. So we'll go ahead and just unbox this. The other thing that I noticed when I got this, this case was how hard it was to remove it out of the box. It's super tight. You can see my muscles stress in here. There we go. So, some of the things it mentions is on the package or on the uh, plastic covering. It's got a 13 megapixel uh, pixel master camera, low light photos and videos up to 400% brighter. Okay. Bigger, while smaller. So it's uh, it's stating that it's with a 5.5 inch display, full HD IPS display, it's only in a 5 inch body. Um, it's also, and this is the big kicker, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to get this phone in the first place, was that it's got an Intel processor in it, Intel Atom processor, and it's 64-bit uh, quad-core, so that's always good. And it's got the brand new Asus uh, Zen UI, which from my use so far has been pretty pretty good actually. Uh, okay, so we'll just get this out. Now, I don't have anything in the box as I did, but there was um, obviously all the information, warranty, and, and uh, quick launch things there. Plus the charging cable, which I thought was a quick charger. Because I did see some reviews saying that it has a quick charger, So, was, but um, when I plug it in it says it takes two hours or three hours to charge, which is not quick. Anyways, we'll get this out here. So I choose, it chose the silver colorway, and if you can see that right now, that is just beautiful. Like I just love that brushed aluminum look there. Very nice looking. Very sexy. I don't even want to put a case on it. That's how nice it looks to me. Um, but yeah, you can see the volume toggle right there, the camera and the flat two-tone flash. Uh, you can see the Intel inside uh, labeling plus the Zenfone and the speaker grill right there. There's nothing on the sides, which is a big plus for me. Uh, one thing that I hated with my S4 was that when you tried to say change the volume and see where my 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 finger is and my thumb, when I'm trying to change when I'm trying to change the volume, I'm sometimes accidentally pressing the power button or vice versa. I'm pressing the power button and actually pushing the uh, the volume rocker. So the power button is actually placed on top there with the uh, um, what do you call that the uh, headset plug-in, and then on the bottom. You just have the uh, mini USB, which is only USB 2. I was hoping this would be USB 3, but it is not. Um, yeah, so the number one thing that I, I wanted to get this phone for was actually the price, obviously, but the, the way it looked. It, I just love that brush silver. It looks very nice. Uh, now onto the first 12 hours of use of this phone for my review. Uh, at first touch, it has a very good premium feel. It almost feels like it's actually metal, but it's actually plastic and flexible when you remove the, the covering here, which I should show you because it was actually pretty 
it is pretty hard to to remove. It, it's I can't believe how hard it is. I might not even bother here. It's that hard. It's not as simple as the Samsung version. But I guess that's a good thing, so there's no accidental uh accidental uh opening. <laughs> that's how hard it is, guys. Wow. I'm having a tough time here. You can see my hand struggling there. But you can see this is bendable, so it's not aluminum metal backing. And uh, in the back here, it doesn't have a removable battery, which is a big no-no for me. That's why I'm not getting the S6. Forget it. Um, but it does have dual SIM card slots, which is pretty neat. I mean, I don't know how many people actually own or need two phones on one, but that's a still nice feature. And then the SIM card slot, I think it goes up to either 64 or 128 maximum space, so that's pretty good. But, you know, one thing that I want to mention here is I don't think it'll be that hard to get to the battery, because I believe this is the battery right here. And, you know, it doesn't look like it's overly glued. I think it's a lot of screws, so it might be possible to buy replacement batteries if they sell them anywhere. And uh, you can just unscrew the, the backing and take the battery out and replace it. And I believe this, uh, this square is for the quick charging or the wireless charging. Charging. I'll just snap that back on. Um, the other thing that I'm, I want to mention is from my S4, uh, the feeling or the feeling, the texture of the phone is very slippery, and I hated that because every time I, I used the phone, I felt like I was going to drop it by accident. Where this backing is. I guess on the slippery side, it's not rubbery texture or anything like that, but it's got texture to it, which which gives you good feel, and uh, hopefully you don't drop it that way with that with that good feel. <clears throat> I also love the cor the curved back; it feels good in the hand. And one thing I want to mention in, in other videos that I've actually uh, talked about in the past is that, and I'll show you right now, is I've always liked the iPhone three. This is the original. This is the first iPhone 3, which actually still works, by the way. If anyone wants to offer me a lot of money for this phone, if it's worth that much, you let me know. But it still works, and it still holds a decent charge. Mind you, I don't use it much. I wonder if you actually use it as a phone, if it would hold up. Got a few scratches here and there, but anyways, I digress. The, the, um, the shape of the phone is beautiful. I mean, mind you, it is smaller, and it does feel nicer in the hand, but I like the curved edges, which... Apple went back to on the current gen uh, phone i6, iPhone 6, um, and also the curved back, it, it just feels nice to the hand. And the reason why I complain, or the reason why I say that is because I have owned the next phone, which is the iPhone 4, which is a square back. Now, don't get me wrong, the backing of this iPhone is, I, I think looks really good. It sucks that you have to put a case on it, but the gloss backing is very nice. I, and I actually like the phone, the, the look of the phone. But um, the square edges, I just didn't like the feel. It wasn't feel. It didn't feel good to the hand. Where the Asus phone has that same similar feel, which I like. Um, when using the menu and OS uh, on this phone, mind you. Uh, sorry, I should show you what I just did there. One feature that it has, which I really like, is a uh, double tap feature. So if you double tap on the on the screen, it'll it'll sleep it. You double tap when it's off, and it'll turn it back on, which is very nice. I think that's a very nice and useful feature. Um, but when I'm using the OS and f flipping through pages and using the internet and YouTube, I found that it was very smooth. Um, I'm not now. I'm not sure if it's the phone itself with the Atom processor that's making that happen, or if it's the new uh, the new um, Android. Lollipop? Or not, is it Lollipop now? Jeez, I don't even know now. Um, but it's very smooth compared to... And then we're comparing this to my S4, which is pretty powerful and pretty good itself also. But the uh, the UI on this phone is very, to me, clean. Very easy. Simple to use. Um, 
the way that I have it set up right now is uh, the cleaner way. If you have it set to, and I forgot what it was called, but uh, basically display all the apps, like you know, like an iPhone, and it just makes it look a mess. Where here, it's just built into folders, which is really nice. Everything opened really quick. Uh, it felt better than my S4 at this point. My new the S4 is probably f more full of, or have a lot more um, garbage in it due to downloads and and just things like that. But uh, <laughs> I wasn't uh, disappointed whatsoever when I started using this phone. And mind you, I've only had this for about 12 hours now, so I'm just giving you my uh, my input from the last 12 hours. Now, a lot of people say things like, when you watch reviewers, it's funny how they go sway one way or the other, but I'll tell you what I think. Um, the screen is actually good. I wouldn't say great. I would say it was good. And I'm coming from the S4, and the S4 has a really good screen. Uh, I can't remember the pixel per square inch, but I think it was in the high 400s or mid 400s. This one is at, uh, at the low 400s, so it's, it's still respectable. Um, the one thing, and it's IPS, the one thing that it doesn't have or the one thing that my iPhone or my Samsung Galaxy S4 has compared to this phone is how bright it can get in sunny situations. So when you have this outside, it might be a little bit, uh, it might not be bright enough to some extent, but it still does a job. I mean, almost any phone out there, if you use it, it'll still be kind of hard to see when it's very sunny out there. Um, like I said, this is a low 400 uh, PPI. Uh, the speaker quality on the phone um, was good. Not great, but good. Uh, it did its job. Um, it's loud enough when you need it, and uh, I can't really say much about that. It, it wasn't as horrible as people say it is, but I, you know, it, that's all subjective. It depends on what situation they're in. Are they in a room full of 100 people yelling, or are they just in outside where people are mowing their lawn? I don't know. But for me, in my situation so far, the speaker is very good. Um, the other thing, the call quality and the speakerphone, I used that for just a brief moment. I didn't use it too much, um, but it was pretty good. Uh, I, I had no problems speaking to anyone or anyone hearing me. Uh, pretty basic there. The There is an auto start feature, which I'll show you right here. And I like this feature. As, as So far, I don't know how well it will work, but the, the, the um, idea is good. So basically what it is, it's letting you control all of, and I know this is not new, it's letting you control all of the um, apps and making them like uh, if they connect online or if they're pro constantly doing um, updates and things like that, you can turn it all off or actually you can let it do it for you where I just manually control everything and I just let what I want to be controlled which will hopefully save you battery power in the long run. Um, so it lets you control what's happening in the backgrounds. Uh, the double tap feature I already mentioned to you. Um, there's a shortcut feature which I haven't even set up yet, but basically what happens is when your phone is off like this and you swipe a C. I don't know if there's a preset for that. Maybe not. Oh, it was, yeah. Oops. Let's, let's try that again. I think, so when you swipe, when the screen is off, you can swipe like a letter C, and you can actually preset these to whatever you want it to do. But if you, if you swipe C, it'll open up to go into what you... Uh, set it to, which was the camera. That's actually really neat. I didn't even know that it had preset it already. Um, so that, that shortcut feature, I know that's nothing new either, but I like that it's on a phone at this price. Um, those are all the highlights that I, I've seen with the phone. Um, honestly, I've been very surprised so far with how well this phone is doing, uh, especially at the price point. Uh, so I'll go with, with the positives. Uh, basically, the positives with this phone is the powerful Intel uh, Atom processor, the large 5.5 screen. Um, I should mention that I'm not a big fan of big phones. I, I actually hated the fact that I bought the S4, but because of the specs and the price, basically I got it for free on the first year of it coming out, I couldn't say no. And I haven't looked back at Apple ever since. Um, and you know what? Uh, same thing with this. Like the, the price was good, the performance is great. Um, you know, I wanted to try this phone, even though it was a 5.5. It's basically a phablet, or I guess some people would not consider that, but I think it's almost at the point of being a phablet. And uh, you know what? But it fits in the pocket well, feels good in the hand. I have no problems with the size. Uh, the exterior appearance, like I said, this, the front is pretty simple and basic, um, as you can see here. It, it doesn't have the 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 back button, the home, and the uh, multi windows. Uh, uh, buttons there they are not um, they don't light up 
so you just have to go by what you see there which I mean everyone's used to going to their home button in the center bottom there anyways um, and then the backing is I just love this I can't get enough of this uh, this texture uh, aluminum backing looks very nice I do I thought this would be hard to adjust to but actually the positioning is actually quite fine when you're talking on the phone or if you're using it it's not very hard to actually reach for the volume rockers there but the look of the phone is very A1 I, I actually like way prefer this more than my Samsung Galaxy S4 um, the other uh, positive of this phone is there's just lots of options I was going through all the all the um, different options you have in the settings there and you know you can sweat you can change the way that the pages swipe you can have it in a box or in a, in a, a circular motion or you know I mean I know a lot of that's kind of useless but you know what that's personalization to make you feel good about what you're using so why not um, it's unlocked uh, this is Canadian I bought this in Canada and I bought it for $249 for an unlocked power phone at this price and at this power level honestly a lot of people even say that it rivals like the high-end phones of today like the S6 and the Apple iPhone 6 now we know it doesn't beat it but it does go toe-to-toe -to -toe with it and do does it very well for what a quarter of the price um, and the big one the big positive of this is like I said and I said it again and I'll say it one more time is the price this is the 2 gigabyte version I didn't want to go with the 4 gigabyte because I wasn't 100% sure with the phone I don't know how well this will hold up over time and a lot of like you can go with specs but you know what gigabytes of RAM is so overdone I think that they're just using it as a as a ploy to get people to buy it because the 4 gigabyte version compared to this one is $379 and this is $249 so that's another $140 more for an extra 2 gigabytes of uh, RAM and a slightly better processor but I saw some reviewers uh, do reviews on this and they uh, basically said the power or sorry the uh, um, what do you call it the performance is almost the same. Now, so now onto the, some of the negatives on this phone. Uh, the screen, like I mentioned to you guys before, the screen might not be as bright as like an S4, possibly S5 or S6. Um, but for me, it does the job well, and you can see the quality, and you can see my uh, my wonderful picture that has the uh, iPhone 3, iPhone 4S, Samsung Galaxy S4, all in uh, one picture there, which is pretty cool posted that on my Instagram um, but the colors are good um, there's a lot of settings uh, involved with how you want the screen color to look um, overall the screen is I would say it does the job and it does it great not awesome but great um, The screen also might not be as sharp as other phones. Like I can clearly, and uh, I'm not a huge nerd when it comes to uh, visual specs, but I can see it. I can see the difference between my S4 and this phone. So, I mean, if you're totally into that and you don't, don't want to see any graininess or anything in certain things, um, you know, maybe that's not for you. But I'm telling you, it's not that bad. Um, no removable battery. That's that's a big kicker. Basically, uh, this is what one, re one reviewer said to me. And it's pretty obvious, but it stuck with me. Is that when you buy a phone that doesn't have removable battery, you're basically putting an expiry date on your phone. And I mean, I guess most people like to waste their money anyways. But originally, I was planning to keep my S4 till it died, and, or until I get uh, an upgrade plan to get the S5. That's another subject, but. Uh, USB 3 waterproof, dustproof, and uh, S5 power. I think that's better than the S6. It has far better uh, specs. So I'm going to wait for that to get it for free because at this point it's free now with a two year plan. Um, I think that's it that I got for all the negatives. But overall, for the price that you get, you get a very powerful phone that looks good and in the end, doesn't cost you an arm and a leg so you know what guys hopefully I helped you make a decision on on this phone you can't go wrong with this phone I'm telling you the camera oh that's another thing I want to mention the camera is actually pretty darn good low light like always I guess that was always a little bit of a concern but it does pretty good it has a low light feature which brightens up a little bit and helps out with that but uh, I've done some pictures with it not very much but a little bit and it, and it and it shows pretty good like actually you can tell by this picture right here Hopefully it shows within the camera that we're recording. 
you can see the quality there it's pretty sharp still so like this video if you liked it don't if you hate it please subscribe GLM's out sorry guys I forgot to mention one thing uh, the battery power which is one of my key points I wanted to talk about uh, let's go into the oops yeah where is it battery here so today I've uh, start. I actually woke up very early today at like five something. I was playing around with the phone. Now keep in mind, every time you guys get a new phone, or when I ever get a new phone, I like to play around a long, play around a lot with it, and that means usually the battery will die a lot quicker. So it's usually a bad test to see how it works when you first playing around with the phone, trying to figure out what's what. Um, but anyway, so far today, I've used it. A lot during the morning, and I kind of slowly depreciated because I went out. I did. Some, I went to the driving range, did some golf, uh, hang out with some friends, went for some uh, lunch and whatnot. Um, but so far, it's at uh, 43 percent, which, to be honest with you, isn't as good as my S4 um, battery life at, as of now. Normally, I think I'd be around 60 percent at around this time. So. Uh, that's just one thing to mention. So I did see and hear a lot about um, they're waiting for the next um, update. Hopefully it'll fix because a lot of people are saying stuff about their battery power. I mean, I'm not tremendously disappointed with what I'm getting here. I mean, for the rest of the day, I don't think I'll be using it much. So it'll probably end off at about 30%, 40, 30 to 20% um, by the end of the night and just top it off uh, right in the morning for about an hour or so. So I just want to get, add that in there. I know a lot of people are wondering about battery power. Thanks for watching, guys.